I bought a new home where the owner smoked in the garage. Well, cigarette smoke is, well, it's horrible for everybody, but it's horrible for me. It makes me nauseous. I would not be able to park my car in the garage, much less anything else, until that smell was gone. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, typically a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, <laughs> my last move made me feel like I was not aging gracefully, and um, it was very stressful. But the, the owner of the place I bought, he smoked in the garage, and when I looked at the place, the garage door was open, so I didn't smell it. I knew he was a smoker, but I thought he was smoking outside. But once the door was closed, when I came to the home for the inspection, then I smelled it. It was just horrible. So I started looking online for different things, and I found out about an ozone generator, but it was from a woman who said her painter owned an ozone generator and had access to one, and he put it in their garage overnight for several days, and it took away all the smell. They also painted, which helps as well, but the ozone generator took care of it. So I talked to a friend of mine who's an engineer, and he said, oh yeah, I borrowed one from my boss, and for, it wasn't for cigarette smoke, it was from, for some other odor in their home, and it worked. So he told me which kind it was. He said his boss bought it on Amazon, I found it on Amazon, and I have it linked in the description box below because it works really, really well. Now, if you don't know how to open the description box, a lot of people don't, if you're watching on a phone or other mobile device, go below the video, and on the right side, there's the little V. Tap that little V, that opens the description box, and then now you have to also click the word more to get the full description box. Scroll through there, and you'll find where I say products mentioned. It says right there, products mentioned, and then you'll see the link. You can go directly there. Now, if you're watching on a computer, go below the video on the left side, you'll see the word show more. Click those words, show more, and that opens a description box and everything is below there, including other videos you might want to watch. All right, so what I'm going to show you is how I did this. I decided to run it on a timer because you'll see on the box, you can run it for up to two hours or 100, it's listed in minutes, 120 minutes. And I want to show you what I did. Of course, my engineer friend suggested this, and I ran it. The painters were here during the day, but I ran the thing at night on a timer. I'd come every night, and I'd plug it in the wall, and make because they'd unplug it, and then the timer would be off. So I'd plug it in, and I'd make sure it's going to start at like 11 o'clock at night. I had that thing running for like four or five hours, and I told them when you arrive in the morning, open the garage door and let it air out because ozone is poisonous, all right? So the other thing I want you to do is when you go to that description box and you find the item, click it, and I want you to go to that item on Amazon and scroll down to where the comments are and read the comments that other people have written because other people have used this for the cigarette smoke inside a used car they bought. There was one guy who said he bought it for an odor in their house in a certain room, but his wife is a real estate agent. So she brings it to homes that she has listed if there's a smell inside the house. And they run it, you can't run it when you're at home, you have to run it when you're not at home, but it helps to get rid of the smell, especially if there's smokers in the house, gets rid of that smell so you can list the house without that smell. All right, now I'm gonna show you some things on this device. So here's the ozone generator, all right? So it's a small box like this. And at first I thought, well, maybe I can find one to rent. But my friend said, if you find one to rent, it's just gonna be some you know, industrial size ozone generator. It's gonna cost you like $50 a day. These cost, I don't know, the price tends to fluctuate somewhere between $115 and $135. And then everybody's going to borrow, want to borrow it. In fact, every painter who was coming to do an estimate for me, I asked them if they had access to one. They're like, what is that? Uh, I'm like, you're going to want to borrow this. So if you can see on the dial here, it's in minutes. And it goes up to 120. 
But I put the thing on hold. Now it's not plugged in now, but I put it on hold. I just wound it up. Hold just means it's on all the time. Oops, I guess I have to start from off. And then I plugged it into the timer. Now, here's the thing. It's, I'm gonna set it down here. It's a three prong plug. And timers typically are not three prong unless you buy one. Let's see, I'm not in focus, am I? Be in focus, Glory. Okay, so I bought an adapter. This just cost me a couple dollars at Ace Hardware. It has a three prong on one end and the two prong on the other. And I plugged it in like that. Then I have my timer. And on the side, it's not a three prong plug, it's a two prong plug. So then I plug that in, it's polarized, so I plug that into there. And then I set it to the current time and I had it turn on around 11 o'clock at night and turn off around 4 o'clock in the morning. I wanted this thing to really run and get that cigarette. And I did it for like four or five nights in a row. There's no problem. So if you can see, am I, yep, I got a plug here. So my other stuff is plugged in here for what we're doing here. Anyway, I would plug it in there. And if you set it, well, it was set to turn, like I said, it at 11 o'clock at night. But if you're just going to run it for two hours at a time, it's not going to hurt you to just turn it on. It'll start running. It has a little sound to it, has a certain odor, and then get out of the room. <laughs> Shut the door. If you're doing it in a garage and you're just going to be home, that's fine. Once you shut the door to the inside of the house, it's going to be all enclosed. And then the instructions will say, after it turns off, let it wait for 30 minutes to 60 minutes and then open windows, or in this case, the garage, open the door. The other thing that's really nice is in the box, now my painters got to this, but it comes with a sign that says no entry. So you can put this on the door handle of the door that goes to the room saying don't go in there. Now I have heard that there are hotels that have these contraptions, these ozone generators, and if they get a weird smell in a hotel room, they'll run the thing for a couple hours and then put the sign on the door, of course, to not go in there. In fact, I had um, a friend who said one time he was on a business trip and he walked into a hotel room and one of those was in the room. It already turned itself off, so luckily it had been off for a while, but um, like I said, you shouldn't be inhaling that. So I did see one comment from one, you, one commenter on the Amazon product saying he ran it in his apartment and had all the doors shut, but when he left and came back, the ozone had gotten out of his apartment. It was going into other apartments, and it gave him a really bad throat reaction. So if you're going to be sensitive to that, I would suggest getting a respirator and putting that on to be around here if you think you're going to have a problem because a little mask and an N95 mask is not going to help you with this if you have that kind of sensitivity. In fact, if you're going to do an apartment where there are other apartments and they might not be sealed off from one another very well, I would talk to the landlord first or the management company before you start doing that. But in your own house, in your garage, this thing is amazing. I mean, that cigarette smoke smell was gone. And you'll see in the comments that other people, especially like in a car where there's upholstery and leather, which you think would absorb, and they say, hey, it was gone. And they say how long they ran it with an extension cord into the inside of the car. So this thing is hands down one of the best purchases I've ever made. I think people are gonna wanna borrow it from me when they've got some kind of smell they need to get rid of in their home or in their car. So check it out in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next video.